Hello there, it's been far too long since I dived into my empties pile with you, two and a half years to be exact, so the pile has grown substantially. I collect empties over time so I can sort and recycle them in one go. I moved recently so a few empties were farewelled, but I tried to hang on to a handful to share. More than a handful, a basket full really, but I'm sticking to body and hydrating skincare steps this time to keep it short. If you want me to share more of the stash before they're recycled, let me know. Many repeat purchases and old favourites in this selection. Speaking of favourites, I'm so happy to be working with my favourite body care brand, Necessaire, for part of this video, sharing what I've finished. Everything they make, basically. I've been a fan for four years, love their formulas and their sustainable approach. They have a thorough recycling guide on their website for each product element and they partner with TerraCycle so you can return your non-recyclable Necessaire packaging parts if you're in the US. Always a lot of packaging to reflect on in empties videos, but I try to be responsible and recycle the lot, some through regular recycling collection, but other parts can be taken to TerraCycle, the same initiative that breaks down and repurposes non-recyclable packaging. They have a presence in a lot of retailers worldwide, or local beauty stores might have their own empties bins near you, so keep an eye out and double check what they do and don't accept. On with the empties. I finish body wash faster than any other group and you can bet Necessaire is there. I use all of their scents. Eucalyptus is my refreshing favorite. Sandalwood is warm and cozy and bergamot is zesty and energizing. When I moved, they were the first products I put in my shower to help the place feel and smell like home. A smooth gel that lathers well with niacinamide, vitamins and omega rich oils to cleanse and nourish, not strip your skin. And after this round of empties, the good thing is I won't have any more because they have refills instead. These aluminium bottles fill two standard bottles of the body wash. Next, Necessaire's Brilliant Body Exfoliator that lathers again, love that in a body exfoliant. This gel has a mixture of chemical and physical exfoliants, so it's a thorough, satisfying, but gentle scrub with pumice and charcoal. Don't forget you can cut empty tubes open too. Even if you've squeezed them within an inch of their life, there's usually more product hiding at the bottom. I'm very lucky to test a lot of products as a beauty content creator, but Necessaire's fragrance-free body serum and body lotion are what I use up. Older serum bottle here, but the taller version is current with five molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. If you're not a lotion person, this is delightful. Cooling, thin, the gel sinks in instantly with no residue, just softness. And you've heard me rave about Necessaire's body lotion for years now, literally, and I've still not found anything that comes close. Vitamins, niacinamide and peptides support your skin barrier. It's medium weight but never feels heavy and leaves limbs feeling surreally soft and supple. If you'd like to try and finish off these formulas too, those four plus Necessaire's non-greasy nourishing body oil are in their limited edition holiday essentials edit this year. Glorious gift or treat yourself, $168 value for $100 US dollars and you can get a further 10% off using my code 10 Matilda. Great offer, great products. Shifting to skincare and consistent face mists, I'm a fan. Made light work of Aven's thermal spring water jumbo size, no surprise to see a French pharmacy favourite or five in my empties pile. Nice, simple, soothing mist and an even thorough aerosol spray. Quarterly Grape Water is another great fine mist, but I'm usually generous and hold it down. Technically fragrance free, but there's this slight grape like scent that makes it really refreshing, made with organic grapes. French Face Mist Queen Quarterly Beauty Elixir has a much heavier scent peppermint, rosemary, mint, and rose, so it's basically like having a brief escape to their French countryside spa anytime you spray this at your desk. My Aussie favourite, good old Jolique Rosewater Balancing Mist. I'd feel strange if I didn't have this realistic rose scent made with real rose petals somewhere in my life. I've used it for so many years now, it's quite nostalgic at this point. An American version with a sweeter rosewater icing sort of scent is Heritage Store Rosewater. Nearly running out, usually stock up on this in the US because it's a friendlier price point than some of my other mists sliding into serums, actually an essence first, which has a thinner consistency so it goes before serum. I got into COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence this year and you can see I quite enjoyed it. TikTok seems to love it too. Slidey, calming, repairing, just a great hydrating step. 
Aussie brand Sand and Skies Tasmanian Spring Water Splash Serum starts the serum chapter. Really refreshing, hyaluronic acid, Tassie Spring Water. It's not tacky with a sweet citrusy scent. I'll leave my Sand and Sky code below. Glossier isn't as prominent in my routine anymore, but I do still rate Super Bounce, their hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 serum. Finished off all of my backups of this light, silky, cooling serum now, so I think I need some more. Luckily a launch closer to home has filled the gap. GoTo finally launched a hydrating serum this year. Much plumper skin with peptides, pro-vitamin B5 and four types of hyaluronic acid was so juicy and bouncy I raced through it. Some morning and evening moisturizer empties, always scraped the sides of By Terry's Hyaluronic Global Face Cream, a light gel cream that creates such a lovely smooth base pre-makeup with lasting hydration from eight hyaluronic acids, niacinamide and squalane. When I fell for Aven's Skin Recovery Cream, they discontinued it, of course, I swapped to the new one recently, the Soothing Skin Recovery Balm, and haven't noticed much difference, haven't looked into the technical differences yet, but it feels similar, calming and slightly whipped. For heavier skin barrier repair, La Roche-Posay's Cicaplast Balm B5 is the best. Sometimes I use this in place of moisturizer to calm my skin if it's angry or irritated, massaging in a light layer to wake up to smooth skin. The evening moisturizer I finish more than any other is go-to very useful face cream since 2014. Once a winter moisturizer, I use it all year round now, a thicker cream that feels really nourishing but not too heavy, and sneaking in a hydrating mask too. Jolique's Rose Moisturizing Cream Mask has been a favorite for a few years. Some cut up tube remains here, creamy, plumping. I let my face soak in this once a week, leaving a light layer on for hours and eventually giving myself a face massage with it on. Face oil is probably my favorite part of my entire routine. Go to Face Hero is a hero because it's so good but ridiculously reasonably priced, particularly compared to my other favorites, so I repurchased this most. A soothing, smoothing mix of 10 plant and nut oils, even finished the jumbo size, which is back in silver this holiday season. Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. I wish I didn't love you as much as I do. This luxurious face oil with a frightening price tag has 22 botanical ingredients and a bunch of different benefits. It's really a step up when my face needs more hydration and it seems to calm breakouts too. A nearly empty now. Fortuna Skin's Biphase Moisturizing Oil is a stunning formula from the hills of Sicily. This mix of olive oil and olive leaf water is so light and silky. It's like an elevated splash of water. Sadly, another splurge, but I'm very happy to have a code for Fortuna that I'll leave below. Time for some recycling sorting now. Thank you to Necessaire for partnering with me again. Remember the code 10 Matilda is there if you'd like to treat your body or somebody in your life. Do you tend to go through body wash and face serum fastest too? Or is there another beauty category you finish off in a flash? How has your empties pile been looking since the last time we talked about this topic? Do you race through skincare faster than makeup? Any regular repeat items in there? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.